happening, YouTube? It's your boy Swag Pack Shack, and like the title says, y'all know what time it is. It's that time of year. It's time for some new wheels. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going big. Or I'm going home. Uh, is it a strip? Now it's hard to be me, but it feel good to be me. I need more blue cheeks. I need keys to the streets. I can go wherever I want. Do whatever I want. Be whoever I want. I'm trying to be king of the streets. Now it's hard to be me, but it feel good to be me. I need more blue cheeks. I need keys to the streets. I can go wherever I want. Do whatever I want. Be whoever I want. I'm trying to be king of the streets. Get it. Before we get into this video, me wrapping these wheels and putting my swag to it, make sure y'all stop what you're doing and go follow the Pamela Foundation tag below on Instagram. The Pamela Foundation is my foundation that I started to build awareness for the de deadly disease meningitis. We want to build awareness. We want to help families that's affected. We're trying to make a move. So make sure y'all go ahead and follow that. But back to the video. So as y'all can see, we got these dubs. Dub razors, you know what I'm saying? I like them. They cool. They sexy and whatnot. But I got to put my own swag to them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're about to get into now. I'm about to show y'all what it is. Um, it's going to be cool. So y'all stay tuned. I know y'all wondering what car is about to go on because it could go on my Charger, it could go on my Durango, it could go on my Chevy. So if y'all want to know, if y'all want to know what car is going on, make sure y'all hit that bell and stay tuned because I will be posting a video with the wheels on whatever vehicle I decide to put them on. It's going to be dope. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get this thing wrapping, you know what I'm saying? So of course the first thing you got to do when you're doing any type of wrap or anything, you got to make sure you clean the surface. The prep is usually the longest and most important step. I use alcohol, make sure I get everything nice and clean and uh, um, microfiber towel. Go ahead and spray that on there, squirt that on there, whatever you want to call it. You just got to make sure you go ahead and wipe this thing down right. Now that the parts that I'm going to be wrapping is now clean, I need to go ahead and take off this center cap. Use my tool that Dub provides. Take off that center cap. You know what I'm saying? Take that off. Get my Allen keys and take off this. It's a three-piece center cap, you know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that we uh, use the screws and all the provided hardware to go ahead and get all this off. You know what I'm saying? Next, you got to measure the material. This is the color I'm going with. We call it ACW Blue. But I'm not going to give y'all the actual color, you know what I'm saying? But this color right here is real pretty. It's real pretty. Blue with satin, they got that shine, but they got that matte look to it as well. So you gotta go ahead and measure the portion that you're gonna be wrapping, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and do that right now. This little piece that's too small, I'm gonna use it for these little parts right here on the center cap. So go ahead and put that right there. And uh, now we go ahead and start wrapping, you know what I'm saying? Pick your part that you want to start off with. Pull off the backing paper. Line this thing up. Just like that, right? And before I actually lay it, I always use a wrap glove, you know what I'm saying? Because it helps your fingers and your hands slide over the material real nice with the, without greases and stuff, slowing it down and messing up the bubble. So, go ahead and pull it tight. Start from one end. And you start wrapping. You start smoothing it out. Smoothing it out. If you get a bubble, pull it back up. Start smoothing out some more. See what I'm saying? I got the wrinkle free. So it'll smooth out real good. You really don't need heat when it comes to a surface this flat, but I always use heat at the end once I have everything laid and looking right, you know what I'm saying? Smooth all this out. Smooth all that out. See that 
Cole. Let me put something on here. Oh, I got some stuff on my rack. You see what I'm saying? So I gotta be careful. Because, yep. So that piece ain't good. You know what I'm saying? So now, throw that piece. You see that right there? It's not the move. Wipe that off. Wipe that off. Next. Wipe that off. And while that's drying, I'm going to just go ahead and start on another part. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to do this piece right here. While that one's drying, you know what I'm saying? So... You see, I messed up because I didn't measure it up at the top. So, take my glove off, pull that off, and redo it again. You gotta take the time to do this, you know what I'm saying? Because shit gonna happen and shit gonna get messed up, and you gonna have to keep starting on. But it's part of the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have patience, gotta be calm with, you gotta chill. Take your time, take your time. So I'll go ahead, do this all over. Damn, just like that. Where the hell my go? There you go. Here. I know you know they say, acting like a baby, if you knew the cost, if you hurry and pay, you don't stop. It's 
Make sure you put just enough pressure, but not too much pressure that you long. Scratching the wheel. Done. And once you're done cutting, take your thumb and you just run it along the edge, flatten these edges, right? Yeah. Just like that. Cash kill this beat. Let's go. Flatten those edges. Beat. Make sure they curve around the spoke or whatever you want to call it. And then normally you would hit it with some heat to make sure those edges stick, right? But I usually wait to the end to go through and hit it with the heat. So. Y'all stay tuned, y'all just keep watching. Yo, bro, I like this right here. Yeah. I could be the man, but I don't want to. You could be the baddest in the club, and I won't want you. Never have regrets. Those decisions can haunt you. Always go on. And there y'all have it. That's the finished product. Y'all see how clean that is? Lines nice and crisp. These things gonna be a beast when I put them on the car. But once again, which car is it gonna be? Which car is it gonna be? So y'all can see how the little things can change up the dynamic of something so small or something so big. So that's the before. That's the after. Y'all see the dynamic, the difference? Like that blue just makes that wheel pop so many more, makes it look more three dimensional. The little things, the little details, the little details that make you go a long way. So there you have it YouTube That was me Wrapping my brand new wheels To put on one of my vehicles um, It's not too hard It's easy It's an easy job Just make sure y'all have Enough material Extras Just to be Just to be safe Make sure y'all have patience Make sure you take your time Make sure you have the right materials To get it done it's easy, and as you can see, it changes the whole look of the wheel. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, y'all heard that song messed up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that bell. So that way, when I put them on the car or truck, y'all gonna be able to be the first ones to see which one it is and how it's looking. Swag hashtag out. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy.